Well, another major uh, earnings announcement that we have been tracking as well, FedEx stock. That is on the move up by about 6% right now, actually, this morning after the company posted mixed earnings in its latest quarter and said that it will cut another $1 billion more than what it had forecasted in September as weak demand impacts its quarterly profit and specifically on some of those cuts, it's cost cuts that they're really moving forward with. But segment by segment, it it wasn't really a blowout here. FedEx Express operating income, that declined 64% year over year, lower global volumes. They had signaled that at the end of last quarter. Uh, And then going forward from here, it seems like based on what they said on the earnings call, there's going to be significant kind of cost reductions that they're going to be initiating. That's where that kind of $1 billion comes into play. It's actually $3.7 billion in total discrete cost reductions relative to their plans. Yeah, what a different story. We have Nike here telling you demand looked to be pretty solid overall coming through December. And you have here FedEx really telling the opposite. That express segment, uh, really both segments, but not good from a package volume and just an overall sales perspective. Earnings call, I, I would say, wasn't that great as well. They're uh, exactly acknowledging they have a lot more work to do in the express segment to take out costs and improve margins. But this stock move, of course, is not reflective of the package volume trends. This is a stock trading now off how much cost FedEx can take out of its business. And at some point, FedEx is going to have to pay the pipe here. They're going to actually have to show these cost cuts to the street. They didn't really show them in this quarter, I would argue, but they're going to need to show them in the coming quarters. I mean, and I know that UPS has been doing better than FedEx on a relative basis, but you do have to acknowledge that the environment is pretty tough here. So they're trying to make this transformation in what is a difficult environment because you do have the post-pandemic Um, you know, payback, if you will, where we're just naturally going to see a decline and a decline in both, I think, on the corporate and on the consumer front, the willingness of people to pay up to get stuff more quickly, right? Because people are just more cost sensitive right now than they had been. So, you know, it's it's a tough time to be making those changes. They you have to wonder, are they starting to take out too many costs where they may not be able to deliver that package? And here's mm. a fact that I didn't even realize. Year to date, they've reduced eight international routes and 32 U.S. domestic routes while parking five additional aircraft. That's within the express segment. More uh, efforts like that seem to be on the way. So are you at the point now where FedEx is just going to lose business to UPS? Yeah, they, and they mentioned a large portion of the savings coming from those reduced flight frequencies that you were mentioning. But some of the things that they're not going to be able to get around are things that they cited within this, and that is higher fuel surcharges, um, some of the base rates, the the exchange rate impacts. So those are things, those are variables that are out of their control. And so with those uncontrolled variables, you would hope that by this time next year, if we did see a continued reduction or at least a movement lower in some of those fuel surcharges that they have to take on, that maybe there's some alleviation of the pricing pressure that has to get passed through to consumers or at least the upfront costs that they have to incur themselves. It costs more to get your heritage flakes, Julie. Much more. <laughs> no, I just go to the store and get, to, I okay. just go to TJ's and get my heritage okay. flakes. Okay. There's no package. Well, unless unless they're passing on the cost of shipping to me, but I don't know if they use FedEx. There's no subscription as a service Joe's. for heritage flakes? It needs to be. Not it's on Amazon, I, but you no. don't belong. So you can't, yeah. you can't even get heritage I wouldn't know. Flakes. All right.